Hello, today's video is on stock number 35238NP, a multifunction timer. Uh, let's see if we can show you the programming on, on how this thing works. Uh, it operates off of 6 to 30 volts DC or 5 volts if you use the little uh, USB jack. Uh, that's for power only, there is no programming for your computer. Uh, the top two terminals here are for your power in. I am using a normally open momentary push button switch as my trigger, so I'm just jumping off the power over to the the uh, to your trigger inputs. Uh, you can share a common ground if you add a, a jumper wire there on the board, but I'm simply just going to use a little, little piece of wire. Okay, uh, first things you see is the, the nice little display. I'll show you how to program it here. Uh, it has a single pulse double throw relay. Hook up to uh, that terminal strip there. You have four buttons across the bottom. Stop, set, up and down. Okay, that's the very basic layout. Let's start programming. Okay, if you press and hold the set button, one, two, three, light release. We are in program P1.1. And that's the very simple uh, trigger and turn on your, uh, your relay and uh, run the program. Uh, OP stands for how much time you want to program your relay to stay on. Uh, you have three different time modes. When you see the little decimal point in the far right only, you're in seconds. So this is 0 to 999 seconds, one second resolution. Uh, you press the stop button once. This switches you over to 99.9 .9 seconds, or 0.1 second resolution. And the third, press stop again, and you see all three decimal points lit. You're dealing in minutes, and you got from 0 to 999 minutes, one minute resolution. But we're going to just deal with seconds, just to keep the video short. Uh, from this point, you press up and down to adjust your time, 11, 12, 13, 14 and back down. We're at 10 seconds. So press and give a short press to the uh, set button. Oops, not quite long enough. And it's showing you what program you're in and once it goes back to all zeros you're running. Okay, so I'm going to press my little, uh, you can see the, the relay click. You have an LED indicator showing your, your uh, relay is on and it counts down and once it gets down to your preset time turns off. Now even if you re-trigger in this mode nothing happens it just keeps counting down. Okay that's uh, the first one. Now let's work for the next one. P1.2 press and hold your set, release and using the up and down button we are now in program 1.2 uh, this one will have a trigger and a re-trigger, so let's, let's set that. OP is how much time you want your relay to stay on. We'll stick with 10 seconds, that seems pretty good. And press, okay, P1.2, back to there. Now we're, now we're in operating mode. Press my trigger, counts down. Once it reaches zero, obviously the relay will turn off. But if you re-trigger, you can see you go back to your start. Even if you press and hold, it will keep counting down. Now I'll show you later there's another program that does a little, a little bit differently. So just to show you there is a difference between the two programs. Okay, that's P1.2. Let's try P1.3. Press and hold the set. Hit the up button to get to 1.3. Set again. Now we're setting your relay. You're on time. We're set it still at 10 seconds. Like you say, you get up and down. Change your time. Press and set the hold. Sorry, press the set button. Oops, didn't know long enough. Let you know you're in program 1.3. Okay, now we're in operating mode. Our relay turns on, starts counting down. 
And this time, if you re-trigger, it just turns off. Start. Turns it off. Starts. And obviously, if it counts all the way down, the relay will turn off. All right, let's get into next mode. P2, program 2. Press and hold to start. Program 2. Press the Press the uh, set button again, and here is our on time. Our relay on time is still 10 seconds, so you can change it up or down. Then when you hit set again, you have close. This is the delay time. We're delayed for us. We're set right now for eight seconds delay. Turn on. And like there again, you press the up and down to change the time. Press and hold the set when you're happy with your programming. Okay, P2. Now it's back into operating mode. So this time when I trigger it, the relay is off until it counts down the 8 seconds. Then the relay is on for 10 seconds. And as you press the button, the program just runs. Relay off. There again, press the button. You have your delay on time. And as you press the button, nothing happens. Okay, that is P2. Now let's work on P3, 1. Okay, press the set button. Hit the up button once. We're in program 3.1. Now this has your relay on time. Set for 10 seconds. There again, you can change it up or down to whatever you desire. Press the set again. This is your delay time. We're set at 8 seconds. That's, that's pretty good. There again, you can change it. Now you have loop. How many times do you want this to loop? We're set at four right now. You there again, you can change it. If you change it all the way to that, it will just run continuously. There is no stop. But here we're set at three. It'll loop three times. Now we're happy with that. We press and hold the set. Okay, we're running program 3.1. Okay, now when you hit the trigger, oop, relay turns on. And it turns off for eight seconds. And it does re-trigger every time you hit the button. So it's starting over again. Relay off. Relay on. That's one loop. Turns off for eight seconds. Turns on for ten. And turns off for eight. And since we had it set for three cycles, it goes back to its original state. So whenever you turn it on, you can press it one more time to turn it off. One more time, turn it back on, and it'll go through the whole cycle. So let's go ahead and just, anytime you just hit the stop button, it automatically turns off. Hmm. Okay. Now let's work on the next one the uh, P3.2. Press and hold the set. Now you want to hit that button once. And on this program you set your on and off time and your loops, but as soon as you apply power the relay powers up. So let's go ahead and hit the set button. And this is our relay on time. 10 seconds. Uh, close our relay off time and loop. How many times we want it to loop? And we're set for three times. Let's just take it down to two. Press and hold, set, then your program, and as soon as it powers up, aha, I had a 
I turned off. So we'll count down on the on time. Okay, and that was two cycles. Just to see if I've done it correctly, I'm going to turn off power to the to the unit and apply power. And it turns on, counts down the on time. It should have no effect. Yeah, trigger has no effect. And that's the start of the second loop. Okay, now it's back to the start of the program. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll cycle again. Trigger has no effect. It'll cycle again when you turn the power off and on to the unit. Okay, let's get into P4. Press and hold the set. Uh -huh, got back into the programming. Okay, now we're into P4. Uh, P4 is very similar to the P1.2 that I showed you earlier, but the holding, the pressing, holding and pressing the, the trigger will not start the time. So let's go ahead and uh, program that. We hit the, the set button. You have your relay on time, which is 10 seconds. We're happy with that. Okay, press and hold. Press and hold longer. Okay, P4 is the program. Now we're in we're operation mode. So we press the button, starts counting down. Now as long as I press and hold the trigger, you notice it stays at 10 seconds. It doesn't start counting down until I actually release. And obviously the relay is on until it count, times out. So as long as I press and hold, it does not start the timer. Uh, it has a few other functions like, uh, well, it's in operating mode. If you hold the stop button down, CP, that's just kind of a sleep mode. The display will, will turn off, but the program will still run when it's in CP. If you press and hold, OD is uh, operating normally. Okay, that is the very basic operations of the unit. See, it's board level, no box. Okay. Thank you for watching our video, and I hope this uh, answers all your questions on the unit. Thank you.